Hello everyone, here is an opportunity to win exciting prizes by our Google channel. All you have to do is watch our free videos and answer in our comment box for the questions asked in between our videos. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Manjashri. I teach physics concepts. In my previous videos, I have explained about force, effects of force, balanced unbalanced force and also types of force in detail. In this video, I'll be making use of all that knowledge of force, types of force and effects of force and I'll be introducing you to one of the concept in physics which we will be using in our day-to-day -day life. That is, I have two objects with a few objects with me. That is, I have a nail, I have a knife and also I have pen. When we use all these objects, we will be making use of that concept which I'll be explaining you today. That is, I'll be explaining about pressure. Pressure means what and how we will use the concept of pressure in our day-to-day -day life that I'll be explaining in detail in this video. And if you have any doubts in the concept of force, you can check my previous videos where I have explained in detail about all the concepts related to force. And also you have a chance to win exciting prizes by our Google channel. By just watching our free videos, you need to do us when you watch our free videos, we will be posting few questions in between our videos for which you need to answer in our comment box and few of you will be get, uh, awarded with exciting prizes by our Google channel. What is pressure and why do we need the knowledge of force to understand pressure? To make you understand what is pressure, now I'll show you an activity wherein I'll be making use of the concept of force as well as pressure. That is, I have a knife. I have colored clay with me. I want to cut this colored clay. So when I want to cut this colored clay, what I'll do is I'll press this knife on this colored clay. And when I want to cut it, I'll make use of this end rather than using this end. Why is because I can cut this colored clay by this end easily. Why is because you can observe in this end what they have done is they have divided this end into minute parts. What happens when they cut this end into minute parts is the area will be divided into many parts. The area will be divided into many parts and when we apply force, force means what? It is the action which is taking place that is if it can be push, pull, lift, drop, any of the action which is happening. And here I'm pressing this knife on the color clay and I'm doing some action that is I'm applying force. And that force per unit area, per unit area is called pressure. That is that will give us pressure which is created in this object. Pressure means what? It is force acting per unit area. That is, when I apply this, that is, when I press this knife on any of the object, what happens? Force is applied and the force which is applied per unit area, unit means it is equal to 1. Force per unit area will give us pressure. And also here in this uh, slide, you can observe someone is making use of knife and uh, making tomato into small slices and uh, even there we can observe the concept of pressure wherein uh, they will be making use of the end where the area is less yes here uh, they have divided this edge into smaller pieces why because if the area is less then the pressure which is exerted by this object will be more why because pressure will be inversely proportional to area that is P will be equal to pressure will be equal to F. Pressure will be equal to force per unit area. Pressure will be equal to 
force per unit area that is p will be equal to p will be equal to f that means p is directly proportional to pressure is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to area on which the force is applied pressure is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to area that means if i increase area then pressure exerted by that object will be less if area is more pressure exerted will be less if area is less if i am applying force on lesser area small area that means the pressure exerted by that object the pressure created in that object will be more and uh, whenever we measure any of the physical quantity whenever we want to measure any of the physical quantity we will be having units to measure that physical quantity and to measure pressure we will be making use of unit pascal and also we can uh, make use of one more unit that is p is equal to force per area for uh, what is the unit of force it is newton which is represented by capital letter n and what is the unit of area it is meter square so we can write unit as newton per meter square and the si unit of pressure is pascal which is represented by capital letter p and a and if area is inversely proportional therefore i have mentioned if area is smaller the pressure is more and uh, i have explained uh, about the concept of pressure when we use knife a sharp knife has a very small surface area on its cutting edge so that high pressure is exerted by it to cut any of the objects and also i have displayed few slides wherein we will be observing how pressure is observed in our day to day life here i have displayed a board where they have hammered nails into that board and they have done some art which is called string art that is what they uh, what we do whenever we want to nail uh, the that is hammer the nail to wall or any of the object is what we'll do is we will be placing the end where the area is less and we will hammer to the other end of the nail and what happens is for example if i want to place uh, that is hammer this nail to the wall means what i'll do i'll place this end where the area is less when compared to this end i'll place this and i'll hammer to the other end and due to the force exerted by the hammer and the area is less here therefore this end will drive into the wall whenever i hit this nail by the hammer and we easily we can install this nail on the wall and we can make use of this nail to hang any of the objects which want to which we want to display that is what i have explained in this slide that is when a force is applied to the head of nail the pressure will drive its sharp end of nail into a wooden piece here in this example they have uh, hammered nails into wooden piece therefore we have written it as wooden piece whenever we uh, hammer nail to any of the object this is the physics behind it, it this is the concept of pressure which we can observe and and also in my next slide i have displayed few uh, pictures wherein we uh, we will be able to observe how we can increase uh, area to reduce the pressure or if we reduce the area in any of the object how the pressure is increased in that area that is uh, here in uh, i have displayed two pictures where uh, there are two uh, people who are carrying heavy bags and also you can compare this with your school bags when you uh, take your school bags and observe the strap of your school bag which is placed on your shoulders the strap on the school bag will be broader it will be having broader area uh, large area why is to be 
to reduce the pressure created by the object when you carry it that is when you are carrying it there is some force exerted by that object on you and that force per unit area will give us pressure that is whenever force is acting on any of the object there will be pressure created by that force and to avoid to reduce the pressure created by that force we will be uh, whenever they design any of the bags they'll make sure that the shoulder uh, pad of that bag will be broader having broader area to reduce the pressure created by it and also uh, i have displayed one of the picture wherein uh, i have displayed about that is sports car and uh, even there what they'll do is they'll narrow they'll reduce the area of the wheels which they'll be making use of in sports car to increase the pressure created by that car whenever they go for any racing and all so this is about pressure that is i in this video i have explained how pressure is created and how it is related to force as well as area pressure means it is force per unit area pressure is directly proportional to uh, pressure is directly proportional to force and it is inversely proportional to area by increasing area we can reduce pressure by decreasing area of any of the object we can increase the pressure in that object and in uh, my uh, next video i'll be explaining in detail about how liquid molecules or gaseous molecule exert pressure and also uh, next to that i'll be explaining about atmospheric pressure what is atmospheric what is atmospheric pressure what is atmosphere all that so this is about pressure concept thank you